Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I wanna to talk about how I got Demodex the second time and what I used to treat it. So the second time I got Demodex, I was doing a celery juice cleanse for 21 days and midway through it, I started getting a bunch of bumps on my forehead. I started itching all the time, every night, and I started feeling very uncomfortable and I pretty much knew exactly what was happening. What makes Demodex so challenging is that most doctors don't really know how to treat it or how to stop the infestation from occurring. I immediately went to see a dermatologist. I came in, I explained my situation to him, and I told him that I suffered through Demodex before and I know exactly where this is going. I asked him to please prescribe me some oral antibiotics, some kind of oral medication. He looked at my face and told me, it doesn't look that bad, you're just having some rosacea and just use some metronidazole. There's no oral medication that I can give you. I knew exactly where this problem was going. I knew if I wasn't gonna start aggressive treatment right away, it was gonna blow up all over my face. Unfortunately, the metronidazole gel was the only thing that he was able to prescribe to me for my Demodex problem. So I started using metronidazole gel 1%. And luckily, I had some Blifara gel left over from the last time that I suffered through Demodex. This stuff is magic. If you remember from my previous video, I got the Blifara gel in a foreign country. Unfortunately, in America, the dermatologist will not prescribe you anything for your eyes itching or your eyebrows. You actually need to go see an optometrist for that. And not every single optometrist deals with that. I actually had to call a bunch of different places to find out who actually treats this problem. I did find one eventually, but they didn't have anything that could help me for my eyes. They had some uh, Claridex wipes and some other wipes with tea tree oil, but that did not help me at all. It actually made my eyes pretty itchy. So I was using metronidazole and Blefaro gel, and this helped me with the itchiness in the eyes, but unfortunately my face was not getting better. In fact, it was getting worse because I had no oral antibiotic and nobody can help me get it here. As you know from my previous video, I used Arnidazole uh, along with metronidazole gel and Blefaro gel the first time to treat this problem. So I immediately started searching for a way to find Arnidazole. I ended up calling one of my friends that had a doctor in Belarus. I reached out to that doctor via uh, FaceTime and WhatsApp, and she was able to get me Arnidazole. The problem was that it was coming from Belarus, so it took so long to get to America. So by the time I did receive the medication, my face was already covered in Demodex and little bumps, white bumps and the rash, and I was very uncomfortable and I was very itchy. I started the medication immediately and I did a little bit of a different treatment from last time. Instead of taking it in two different courses, I actually took Arnidazole for 20 days straight. Along with the Arnidazole, she sent me a medication called Demazole. Demazole. This I used around my eyes and basically all over my face to prevent from itching and from them being able to breathe morning and night. I later became allergic to this so I couldn't use it for too long, but it worked great while I wasn't allergic. And my face was getting a lot better. During this time, I had plans to go to Miami for a bachelorette and also a trip to the Bahamas with my other friend. So I flew into Florida and the second I got there, the news was talking about the pandemic, the cases were rising, the NBA got shut down, and I was becoming very stressed out. And the second I felt stressed out, immediately the Demodex bumps started reappearing on my face. Even after I've completed the four 20-day course of the antibiotic, uh, my face was again covered in a rash. I booked an emergency flight home because I was no longer enjoying this trip. So I came home and again, I figured I'm gonna try another set of Arnidazole. I started taking the Arnidazole and this time I had an allergic reaction and these bumps started appearing. Well, I had extra bumps appearing all over my face and down my arms and my neck and I was completely allergic to Arnidazole. I could no longer treat my face with the exact same treatment as the first round of Demodex. I was getting really worried because I had no idea what I would do next. I then saw a different doctor that put me on doxycycline and metronidazole gel, but that didn't help me at all. I then went to go see yet another doctor for this problem, and they put me on Invermectin 1%. Uh, it was a topical medication, a 
applied in the face morning and night and that didn't help me at all. I then tried clindamycin that also didn't help me at all. I even tried other remedies that I read about online from different forums such as Vaseline and witch hazel. Um, witch hazel did prevent me a little bit from itching but none of them were curing the actual problem. Since the doctors couldn't really help me treat this problem, I started doing a lot of research online. I would go on Google and I would read a bunch of studies about people that have suffered with this problem. And I found a girl that was 12 years old uh, that had a pretty severe case of demodicosis and she took a pill of oral invermectin. And the difference in her face was honestly day and night. You couldn't even compare the two. So I figured I would give that a goal. So I went back to a dermatologist and I asked them for oral invermectin. They didn't want to give it to me. They said I should just be treating it with one of the topical creams um, for an indefinite time. And it's like rosacea and eventually it will go away. I insisted on the oral invermectin. So I took the first pill of oral invermectin, which is based on your body weight, and my inflammation lowered immediately. And my skin went from being really bumpy to more of smooth, I mean, you can still feel the little, like I felt them inside of me. It was just these little like things crawling. I don't know, I think it paralyzed them, but you can feel them all in the pores. It was such a disgusting feeling, but the inflammation was gone. It wasn't so red and it wasn't so poofy. But as I touched my face, it was just so disgusting. These little bumps everywhere down my cheeks. Oh, I felt so uncomfortable and so disgusted. Uh, but it did look better. I then repeated a treatment of oral invermectin, uh, I think in seven or six days within a week. Uh, and that gave me actually a really strange reaction. I had like heart palpitations and I really did not feel good. I almost fainted actually, but my face did look better after the second dose. I then took a third dose of oral invermectin, but I did give it a long time between the second dose. I think I gave it a month or a month and a half. I'm not, I don't remember anymore. Uh, but this time, it did not have much of an effect on my skin. So my problem definitely was not fixed. I've tried so many different treatments. I've spent thousands of dollars on doctor visits. I didn't know what to do. But just to give you some idea, this is some of the medication that I use. No one should ever have to take this much medication. I really hope that we will find a solution for you as well. I was devastated. I couldn't treat this problem. I couldn't wear a mask during a pandemic because everything would just get worse and itchy on my face. I couldn't go to work. I couldn't go outside. I felt so uncomfortable in my own skin and I didn't know what to do. So I went on YouTube and I started searching Demodex, information on Demodex, and I found a girl that briefly mentioned uh, Ted's Borax solution. And I'll reference her in the comments as well, so you can look at how she treated her problem. Ted's Borax solution was magic. Uh, it's just hydrogen peroxide, 3%, distilled water, and Bora. Ted's Borax solution was magic. In the next video, I'll actually make the solution in front of you so you know exactly how to make it. I would apply it morning and night on my face. My skin would get very sensitive, very glossy, very tight, almost like a layer of my skin was like missing, uh, but it cured my Demodex. The problem that I had was with consistency. Every time my skin would look better, I would stop using the Borax solution. And then my skin would just blow up all over again and I would start itching and Demodex was everywhere. So the key is to use the solution consistently. Do not take breaks. Uh, just use it for a good three, four months, however long you need to, so this problem doesn't come back again. And of course, I continue to use Blephar gel to prevent from itching. So in summary, I used oral invermectin based on your body weight, Blephar gel to stop the itching on my eyebrows and eyes, and Borax solution morning and night all over my face. I really hope this helps you guys. If you guys have any questions, please comment and ask me. I'm always happy to answer them. And if you try any of my medications, please consult your doctor first. I'm not a professional. I'm just here sharing my experience with you. See you later.